हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू सॉल्व मल्टीप्लीकेटिव साइफर और राइट सो इन दिस फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेटिव साइफर द एनक्रिप्शन फॉर्मूला इज सी इज इक्वल टू पी मल्टीप्लाई बाई के मोड ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड डिक्रिप्शन इज सी इन टू के इन वर्स मोड ट्वेंटी सिक्स और राइट सो लेट एस टेक प्लेन टेक्स्ट एज it is equal to hello all right so first of all write the corresponding digits uh, related to hello so h is 7 e is 4 l is 11 and o is 14 now let us apply the encryption algorithm on each and every one of them so for 7 it would be equal to 7 into our key which is 7 mod 26 right so for 49 mod 26 minus 1 into 26 which is equal to 23 this calculating method we have already taught you in our pre previous lectures If you have forgotten, then please refer the Furman's uh, lecture we have taught you. All right. Now for four, so four into seven, which is twenty-eight. So twenty-eight mod twenty-six give us two. Now for eleven, it is seventy-seven. So seventy-seven mod twenty-six would be equal to twenty-five. Fourteen, so seven into fourteen divided by twenty-six minus three into twenty-six gives us for last fourteen into seven mod twenty-six we got our answer as twenty. All right. So applying uh, encryption algorithm on all four of these, the value we got is twenty-three, two, twenty-five, twenty-five. Again and twenty. So here, cipher text will be equal to for twenty three it is x, for two it is c, for twenty five it is z. Again it will be twenty five so z, and for twenty it is u. So for plain text hello, using multiplicative cipher and encryption method, our cipher text would be equal to. x c z z u now applying the decryption algorithm so decryption algorithm is c into k inverse mod 26 now as we taught you how to find multiplicative inverse in the previous lecture we would be going to follow the same process here so first of all we have to check that is the multiplicative inverse of 7 possible or not so for that Uh, we taught you in our lecture euclidean algorithm that if the gcd of 7 in our domain 26 is equal to 1 then multiplicative inverse of 7 is possible so here we can see that 7 and 26 is uh, greatest common divisor will be equal to 1 itself so multiplicative inverse of 7 is possible so after checking this we are going to follow the method of multiplicative inverse right so, uh, so in that we have to write q r1 r2 r t1 t2 and t as you all know that the formula for t is equal to t1 minus q into T two, right? Formula for T. So now uh, here our R one will be equal to twenty six. R two will be equal to seven. Now seven three is a twenty one. Remainder five. Now shift R one and R. So seven and five. One. Remainder is two. Shift it. 
2 so 2 2 is a 4 remainder is 1 again shift 2 and 1 now 1 multiplied by 2 would be equal to 2 remainder will be 0 now here we got 0 and so if we shift it we got our 1 which we told you that if you get here 1 so corresponding to t1 value will be equal to the inverse of 7 now let us solve the t so as i taught you in the multiplicative inverse lecture we have to write 0 and 1 as the value of t1 and t2 uh, before solving anything right so for t we have formula t1 minus q into t2 so for the first line it would be equal to t1 minus q into t2 that means 0 minus 1 into 3 which would be equal to minus 3 right for second now again in this also we have to shift so 1 and minus 3 now for t again t1 minus q into t2 so 1 minus q value here is 1 and t2 is minus 3 so 1 minus minus 3 which would be equal to 1 plus 3 4 right so minus 3 and 4 now what is the value of q here so minus 3 minus 4 into 2 so minus 3 minus 8 which would give us answer as minus 11 again shift it 4 minus 11 now here we have the value as 2 so 4 minus minus 11 into 2 that is minus 22 so 4 minus minus 22 it, it would be get added plus so 4 plus 22 is 26 right so minus 11 26 now this value corresponds to the 1 so it states that minus 11 is the multiplicative inverse of our 7 but we cannot use this negative value for solving or in our uh, decryption uh, algorithm right so here we would be using the concept of additive inverse in additive inverse we have to just add our domain to this negative value so here our domain is 26 so if you add minus 11 plus 26 that would be equal to minus 11 plus plus 26 would give us 15 so 15 is the multiplicative inverse of 7 all right so in decryption we would be using our value k inverse as 15 so let us use this 15 for decryption of our first value that is x so for x corresponding uh, digit is 23 right so for decryption uh, we would be using as 23 into k inverse that is 15 mod 26 so which would be equal to 23 into 15 divided by 26 minus 13 into 26 gives us the answer as 7 again if you use for another value that is c corresponding value is 2 so 2 into 15 mod 26 which is 30 mod 26 gives us answer as 4 for z that is 25 so 25 into 15 mod 26 will give you answer as 11 again we would be having the z value so 25 into 15 mod 26 equal to 11 and the last one is O, I'm sorry, U, uh, which is having 20. So 20 into 15 mod 26 would give you the answer as 14. So if you again check these values in the alphabets we have put, you will get again your plain text, which is H, E, L, L, O, because 7 is H, 4 is E, 11 is L, and 14 is O. Alright, so this was all about multiplicative cipher. Thank you.